Well, it's a really nice day out today. It's like minus two, minus three Celsius, which is really nice weather. Now, before I go and grab all my stuff, I wanted to kind of come and check the ice, see how it is. See if it's okay to walk on, at least. And, uh, Well, it looks good out there. It doesn't look good over here, though. That's starting to melt there. And it shows that. I mean, it's still pretty thick. Last time I was here, it was like... Oh, I can hear it crack. However, this might mean that with the slight change of temperature here, we might actually have fish moving, biting, active. All right then. Before we step on the ice, safety first. or so. Just gonna give you guys a quick update here. So far, absolutely nothing has happened. So that's what you've missed. Of course my battery ran out as soon as I got a bite. When I actually got a bite, yep, she ran out. Well that's a nice little gill there. Check that out. Not too bad, not too bad. Waxworm did the trick again. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I knew he was there. 
green sunfish. I don't know, wonder I can't feel them. They're getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but whatever, we're catching fish. That's all that matters. Okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of the hook setting. It's about a uh, little bit of uh, feeling it, but a lot about uh, just watching your line there. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely getting the hang of it. He's off. Oh, I missed that bite. That was completely my fault. I was fidgeting with my rod when I felt that bite. Oh. These little ones are hard to catch. Oh my god, these little ones are, <laughs> are quite a challenge actually. And that's the last of the wax worms here, so. Whether we catch another one or not, it's gotta be the It's gotta be the end of this video. can tell you for sure is that well can't complain I cannot complain that's for sure so like I was telling you guys the pond that uh, the uh, ice fishing derby is at is just next door down that way so if I can kind of figure out what's going on in this pond I think I'll have a pretty good idea of more or less what's going on there only difference is that uh, that pond they stock it with trout so there's a lot of trout there's a lot of big bass uh, they have a lot of six seven pounders just because it's a it's a private pond so yeah six seven pounders coming out of there so things might be a little different but for the most part, I can kind of at least practice my hook setting and stuff in the ice, on the ice. Just want to say I really appreciate your guys' uh, support. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, shoot me a comment. That right there is sketchy ice. As soon as you get past that, it's all good. <laughs>